and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. In motion is a tight end, Graham. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And able to find Graham, complete. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Jimmy Graham, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. So they're going to go for two. And now we've got a stoppage and a timeout here called by the defense. It's their first of this first half as they look to regroup and hopefully stop the two-point conversion coming up. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. To throw again is Wilson. It's complete. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Denver Broncos, they missed out on the playoffs for the second straight year. Their offense coming back onto the field here. but And that's coming off that Super Bowl 50 win. I don't know that we expected them to go back to back to back or anything like that, but I certainly don't think we saw them missing the playoffs the last two years, right? No, you're, you're correct on that one. And a big part of it is, what's one of those old adages in, in, in sports? The defense travels, the defense is a constant. Well, the Broncos' defense has been exactly that. I mean, look, they were third overall in total defense in 2017. So the idea that they're going to drop to that type of a record with a defense that good, that just tells you about all the offensive struggles they've had. Yeah, we mentioned the quarterback troubles and just 5-11 in 2017 for Denver. His throw incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Hurry up, here we go. On third down, Lynch flushed out right. And he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Now the former Utah man, this is Devontae Booker. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you can see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. 
This will be caught inside the 10. A very solid gain of 27. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go wrong when you throw it downfield like that. He got away with it there and in a big way. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Second down, here's Lynch. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. On third and one, it's Lynch. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Fourth down. Here's Lynch. Eluding the pressure right. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Seahawks able to come up with a goal line stand. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And Graham's got it over the middle. And he's going to get this one all the way up past the 20-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. That'll bring up second down. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. And on second and ten now. The play clock's running down. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second down, Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. Got some room at the 30, and he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Now Wilson on first down. Finding some room at midfield. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Richardson. And he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to CenturyLink Field. 
after this. Lock it in motion right. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down, here's Wilson. He finds his running back, Rawls. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Again on second and 10, it's Wilson. His throw caught right around the six. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses his luck. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Thomas Rawls taking it in. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And that run caps off a 99-yard drive. Would it be safe to say that that finishing run is an exclamation point on this one. Big time. I mean, 99 yard drive. I mean, when you start that, all you're thinking about as an offense is somehow trying to create room for your punter. And if you can get two first downs, you've considered the drive a success. I don't know what you call this. All the way down, putting in the end zone. That's pretty. That's pretty spectacular. Ultimate success. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Fake to Anderson, now it's Lynch. The catch is made, Betty Fowler. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They're gonna need to get up and set in a hurry. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it, because if you're gonna lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. It's Lynch, rolling to his left. This will be caught inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Yeah. 
Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. After the interception, here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Graham. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. A very solid gain of 27. Wilson to give to Rawls. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. So they're on the five-yard line here, second down. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Thomas Rawls, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the interception by the Seahawks, D leads to a touchdown. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Rawls will try and run it in. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. I know we can sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, <laughs> I mean, you, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no, okay. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. The Broncos on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. They go play action with Lynch. On the move, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Frank Clark able to get in there and drop him behind the line. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. And the pressure gets to him again. Cliff Averill. Get him for a loss of five. Oh, 
And a great spot to start this drive from here. Counter play, Rawls. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not a there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. On the ground, Rawls. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Thomas Rawls punching it in from a yard away. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. And oh, can you it. He misses another one, his third so far. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. And it's a short kick, taken right around the 19. And Denver getting set to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised. But that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. Wilson going to give to Rawls. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. Now Wilson on second down. That is caught at the seven. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Thomas Rawls, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. will try and run it in. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And Denver getting set to take the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. 
partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there this time, actually. I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. On first down, it's Lynch. And Sanders has got it complete. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. And that goes for a gain of 31. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, in the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that down. quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. Sanders has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Seattle, Washington. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. Second and goal as the offense looks to try to punt. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. C.J. Anderson taking it in. And the Broncos are able to at least make things a bit more respectable. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsauer? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us, stretch, stretch. This thing out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete. It's Rawls. Touchdown, Seattle! Thomas Rawls, 75 yards. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Mike Bennett in there to sack him for a loss of six. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Left side here to Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. The Broncos on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and a mile. Now it's Lynch. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here we, go. Here we go, Lynch on fourth down. Buying time to his left. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the all-pro free safety Earl Tucker.